invasion. Not so for the Australians. Number six is Bruce Frame for Australia. Nine is Glenn Eller. Two is Poitman. So the final is underway for 1985. It's a good kick by Rutherford. Paxton went high. It's ten minutes each way. Australia beats Sri Lanka, Tonga, Irish Wolfhounds and Western Samoa in a semi-final to reach this final. Public School Wanderers beat Bahrain, Thailand, French Barbarians and New Zealand. Strong tackle by Lucas. Halfway line. No score. And we've had 30 seconds of play. Peter Stephen. Roger Baird. Knock on by Callender. And words being exchanged there between Roger Gould and Eric Paxton in the background. There's nothing too genteel about finals in any competition. But the world, one of the world's most foremost referees is there to take control, Brian Anderson of Scotland. Another scrum for the public school wanderers. Strong break or attempted break by Stephen. Lucas comes in in a jarring tackle. Slip back by Paxton. Oh, what a tackle there. Hogarth, dump ball and all. Jeffrey on the far side. Gould took the man out without the ball, right in front of that crowd, and the touch judge has something to say also. Roger Gould went for John Jeffrey there. Perhaps a little unlucky, well, not unlucky to be penalised because it was a head high, but Jeffrey did go low. Public School Wanderers defeating New Zealand in their semi-final. They won the game by 14 to 10, but they really dominated possession. Callender, met by Gould. Solid tackle by Roger Gould, the Australian captain. Poitman went in. Rutherford, Lucas, bundled into touch, and that's the corner post. Lucas' great strength is that any time there's a ball to be fallen on, he'll be there. And in that case, if it had not been for Peter Lucas, that had been a try to Public School Wanderers in the corner. Public School Wanderers applying all the pressure, playing with a good deal of commitment and a lot of pattern to their play as well. Here's Hogarth with the line-out ball. Rutherford. Back the short side. Paxton. Hogarth. Sandwiched. It's a try. Callender! First try of the game. Five minutes gone. Fantastic play from Callender. Callender probably the man that got them into this position with a superb display in the semi-final. Man took two tacklers. Who was there on the inside for the flick-up pass? Johnny Rutherford flicked the pass up to Gary Callender. Johnny on the spot and just adjacent to the post he scored and uh, there shouldn't be much doubt that this will be converted. Glenn Eller comes through. Ella does well to Campisi. Rutherford in front. Lucas. Good defence from the Wanderers. Now it's Rutherford. Showing composure here. He'll have to do something though. Another strong tackle again from Ella. The crowd thought it was a punch, but it wasn't, you know. Again, overreaction from the Hong Kong crowd. Ella went in to try and control the pass of the ball and they entered and thought it was a, a, a punch, but not even close to that. Eric Paxton knocked on at the back of the line out. 20 metres out, a chance for Australia now to bounce back. They've got to get possession of the ball to score tries, Australia, and they haven't had much yet, but they've got this one. Campisi, frames outside. He stretches out, Roger Baird in front. What a tackle. Campisi's there. The two wingers in confrontation, and Baird coming out with the honours. Nearly half time, Poitman. Ella saying pass the ball straight to Liner. Now it's frame. Liner. Campisi following. Hogarth there first. And what a pickup. Campisi intercepts. Glen Ella. Overlap Australia. Poitman straight ahead. Glen Ella. Ella goes through. Two men in support. Lucas. Yes. Bands behind him. He won't catch him. Peter Lucas.
Lucas has surprised a lot of people in the past and a lot of backs included when he's taken off. They thought this bloke's a breakaway, we'll catch him. I think Baird thought that, no chance. The tap won by Gould, Jeffrey, Hogarth, Rutherford. Now it's Stephen to Baird. The grain merchant follows. He's got the legs. Lucas there first. Penalty Australia. Baird holding on to Lucas. So that's the second battle that Lucas has won against Baird. Here's Glenella. Liner. Poitavan. And Campisi supporting. Campisi. Shut the gate. His seventh try of the tournament. Equal leading try scorer with Peter Stephen. And the Wanderers simply didn't have the energy that time to chase. Well, if Roger Baird, or if the public school Wanderers lose this match, Roger Baird will have the odd nightmare about Peter Lucas. He couldn't catch him for his try. He looked a certainty to kick from a sh to score from a short kick. Peter Lucas turned around, chased with him and prevented him from scoring. Liner's 16th goal of the tournament. That's the half-time score. Australia 12-6 in an exciting first half final of the 1985 Cathay Pacific Hong Kong Bank Sevens. Well, here's a light moment as Hogarth decides he needs some new Dax. It's very muddy here. Here's Campisi and Liner. Liner takes the option of kicking up towards halfway. Eric Paxton, bad bounce. Bruce Frame. Roger Baird. Good tackle by Liner. Frame's there. This is Stephen, Lucas in front. Four Australians to three, but he's through. Glenella, camp easy. That's... That's it. Third try for Australia. Camp easy's second of this final. Well, David Campisi was criticised yesterday for the match against Tonga. There seemed a couple of times that he was in the clear and he slowed down, let the defence get to him and uh, Australian tries went begging. He came back today, he scored, I think, his fourth try today there, all of them being crucial. He's a man who's in the right spot at the right time and that's what counts in international rugby, be it sevens or fifteens. Liner from point-blank range. This to make it 18-6. And it's a very hard row to hoe now for the public school wanderers. Now here's Stephen. Let's see what he can do. Caught behind. Bed. Liner. Campisi there for Australia. Caught by the pants. Glenella. The Australians are there in numbers. Poitavan. Lovely hands. Gould. Fingertip control from the Australians. The Wanderers looking very tired. Liner, and this will be another try to Australia. The final's all over. Glenn Ellis pulled a hamstring down in front of the crowd, the broadcast point, but Liner scores his first try of the final. The hands from Gould, well firstly Portivan, he's picked one up at his boot laces, he's then thrown a very ordinary pass to Gould, who's done the same, reversed play with a lovely little dummy, Bruce Frame, the inexperienced player in the Australian seven-a-side team, has seen a break, he's chipped over for Michael Liner, Michael Liner's read the play well, taken it on the full, thank you very much, 22-6 with Liner to kick. Liner converts, 24-6, John Rutherford. Nowhere to go. Poitavan comes through and wraps him up. Hogarth. Jeffrey, two on one. Stephen should, should score here. Lucas is there. He's still going, Stephen. Can he get there? Held up. Now it's a try. John Jeffrey. Stephen made the break, found that man there, Lucas, again to impede his progress. But John Jeffrey on the spot when Michael Liner made things a bit difficult. And over, out to the left of the post and no conversion. And there's the final whistle. Australia by 24 to 12. The kick was uh, unsuccessful.